In this tutorial, I want to teach you how to import data from multiple PDF files. And for those of you who use the manual methodology that I'm going to show you just now, you're going to thank me at the end of the video because it's going to save you a lot of hours. So let's look at an example. In this folder, I have three PDF files representing sales from different countries. So let's assume I want to extract the information. So what I could do is just open one of the files like here and then try to copy paste. So if I try to do this, I'm already struggling with copy pasting all the data. So I can try from the bottom and then I get it. I'm going to do copy and then I'm going to do control V here. And you can see that I get the data in a terrible shape. And soon I'm going to start writing it manually myself which is not ideal. So let me show you how to address this problem. Basically, you need to use Power Query. You go to data, under data, you have get and transform data. If you don't see this, it means your version of Excel is before 2016, but luckily there is a free add-in called Power Query. You can just add it and then you'll have the same thing. So I'm just gonna do get data from file from folder and then I'm going to select my folder under my folder I have the file but funny enough the way Power Query is configured it will not show me the files which is okay because I know it's the right folder so I'm going to do open and under open I can see the files that are in this folder so I'm going to click on transform data and then you can see the files what do I do with the files to get only those three well, I can play with the extension. So if I go to the extension, I just select PDF and remove the other two. And I say, okay, I get left with only the files that I want. Once this is okay, here you can click on those two arrows to see the data. It's for combining the files. You will get a window like this one. If I click to see what's in my PDF, I can see that I have a table which I can work with. And just be careful here because what Power Query asks you to do is to select the sample file you want to make transformations on and then it will apply the same transformations on the other files and append the data. So here it selected my first file, which is the Japan file. I can also use the French file or the Angolian file. So I'm fine with the Japan one. I'm just going to select my table. I'm going to say OK. And here is my data. So you can see it took the file name. So here I have Japan. I'm scrolling down, I get France. And then obviously at the end, I'll have Angola. And it took the data. So this is my date, the color, the item, and the quantity. And all the steps got recorded automatically. So just to show you a little bit what happens. So we had our source files, if you remember. Then we filtered some rows then whatever got filtered is gone. And here you have a custom function. So what happens in this custom function? Basically, if you go transform sample file, this is what happened. So those are the steps. If you need to change them, you can change them here. But if I go back to the main query, there are a few additional steps that happened. For example, here change type means that it has identified for every column, whether it's a text like this one, or a date like this one, and it has selected the right data type. So I could make modifications here. If you want to do some more complex modifications, I have a full playlist on Power Query. I'm going to put the link in the description. And I also have a video on how to treat very complex PDF problems. In this case, I'm just going to do something simple. So here we have our source.name. I don't like the name. I'm going to call it country. I double clicked on it and changed it, then enter. Here, I want the date, not column one. I double click, write date, enter. And anything I do will get recorded here, so that's fine. The other thing that I want to do is, if you see here, I just want Japan. I don't want the full file name. So what I could do is just click on the column, transform, extract, text between delimiters. So what are the delimiters here? If you see, 
Japan comes after an underscore. So I'm going to put an underscore and at the end you have .pdf. So we're going to write .pdf. The only problem I have is that there is another underscore here. So it might create some issues. To fix this, I click on advanced options. Here it says from the start of the input. So it will start until it finds the first delimiter. What I'm going to do is from the end of the input. So it's going to start here. My first delimiter will be here and it will take Japan in the middle. So we're going to say OK. And you can see that now I fixed my country. The other thing I want to do is you see here I have the color and the item. I want to merge them. So I can click on the first one, press control, keep control pressed. Then you click on the second one and you can go to transform. You have merge columns. We click on merge columns. What will be the separator between the two? So purple t-shirt, it will be a space. So I'm going to select space and then I can rename this, for example, selection. So this is what I have selected. So this, that will be the name of the column. We're going to say OK. And as you can see, now we have purple t-shirt, purple shirt, etc. Once I'm done and happy with this, the only thing I need to do is to do home, close and load, close and load to. And then I can say OK table, either in a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. So it's going to put it here. I'm going to say OK. And you can see that the data is loaded here. We have 87 rows and this is what happened. If you want to make a modification because you're not happy with it, just double click here. You go back to the editor and you can change anything that you want. So this is the whole editor and you can go add steps and so on. So I'm just going to close this. And now I'm going to show you a case where I'm going to add another file. So here I have an extra file. I have India. I'm just going to copy it and just drop it here. That's the only thing I need to do. So I got a new file. I do this here. I can come right click refresh. See now I have 116 rows. I go down. I can start seeing the India data. So this is a quick lesson on how to take data from multiple PDF files. The only caveat I need to tell you is that sometimes the PDF files that you have will have harder tables to import. So please look at my other video to see how to fix the most common problems. And please let me know whether it worked or not. And if not, what are your challenges in the comment section? And as usual, it would be amazing if you just like this video and if you didn't do so, subscribe to the channel.